So, in women with pregnancy complications that I've underlined, should they be tested for thrombophilias? And the answer is yes. If you have a pregnancy loss less than 10 weeks, we do wait until you've had three or more losses to test. And the reason is, is that the placenta is just a blob before 10 weeks and only develops those blood vessels after 10 weeks. And there are many, many causes of early pregnancy loss. So certainly if you've had three or more pregnancy losses before 10 weeks, you need a thrombophilia workup. However, if you have a pregnancy loss after 10 weeks, you should be tested. And then in women with severe or recurrent intrauterine growth retardation, preeclampsia, or placental abruption, they should have a thrombophilia workup. So what do we do for these women? If you have a known thrombophilia and you've had prior pregnancy complications, what can we do to try and protect subsequent pregnancies? Well, currently what we do is we treat women with low-dose prophylactic low molecular weight heparin daily throughout the pregnancy. In those with the antiphospholipid syndrome or those women who have had an arterial blood clot in the past, we do add in aspirin, 81 milligrams daily. And of course, all women who have a known thrombophilia should be put on postpartum blood thinners to protect them against blood clots. Now, whenever we do something in medicine, we like it to be tested in clinical trials. We need to have rigorous data to prove that not only is this a safe treatment, but it's effective and the outcomes are good. We have the best data supporting improvement in fetal losses by using this treatment in the antiphospholipid syndrome. For the rest of the thrombophilias, the data is not that rigorous. Um, most of the trials were done where they took a group of women with a known thrombophilia who'd had prior pregnancy problems, and for their subsequent pregnancies, they treated them with Lovenox, and they found that 70% of them had successful pregnancy outcomes on treatment versus maybe 30% prior. What we really need is better clinical trials. We really don't know what is best for women. We certainly treat them, and I have many women in my practice who come to show me their newborn baby after they've been on their Lovenox, and that's really the fun part of my practice. And I know that I'm treating them according to guidelines, but I also know we don't have very much data. We don't know what the best dose is. There are trials ongoing. So certainly, you know, if you know of someone and there's a clinical trial participating, it would be a good idea, because we really need to get more information to know how best to help women with these issues. So in conclusion for pregnancies, pregnancy is a thrombophilic state. It increases the risk of blood clots in women, it also increases the risk of blood clots in the placenta, and this can be related to poor pregnancy outcomes. Women should be treated with blood thinners if they have um, a history of blood clots, and if they have poor pregnancy outcomes, treatment with blood thinners can help to have a successful pregnancy.